What's up, YouTube? My name is Rudy, and welcome to Let's Play Children of a Dead Earth. Today we are doing On the Surface of Giants campaign mission. Presumably, this is the giant, Neptune. We are ready to go on the offensive against the USTA, and we've decided to go after the Neptunian system, being that it is quite rich. Where what we need to do is we need to strike at a methane depot in orbit around Neptune, skimming close to the atmosphere. And if we take that out, then the USTA forces will be stuck around Triton, and that is the plan. And it's all thanks to the intel from Jiping. We just need to take out the crew modules, which I guess are these little... that little hat up there, and maybe this little... Looks like there's two crew modules we need to take out, or we could just destroy the entire station. I mean, it's gonna fall into ne Neptune's atmosphere anyway if the crew is dead. So we could customize our fleet, but they have a recommendation that we can use a privateer and a hydrogen tanker. Presumably, we'll need to use a hydrogen tanker to refuel the privateer. So, I mean, this is going to be a mission focusing mostly on orbital mechanics and using our Delta V efficiently and coming up with a good maneuver. There is the depot. So, I mean, the USDA, after that fiasco in the belt, at Vesta, they're pretty much on the defensive, and now we can go after them. Let's take a look at this methane depot. It's on the dark side of Neptune. That's spooky. So we're in orbit around Polyphemus. These are actually ships being lent to us by the Iroquois Resurgence. So they're our friends, unlike the Nippon Prime faction. And they're going to let us use their ships for uh, taking out this methane depot. So here's a hydrogen tanker. Ooh, Neptune. Hubble. That's nice. What a nice view. And they all have that view every day of Neptune. Of course, they sacrifice a good breath of fresh air every once in a while. I guess no one gets a breath of fresh air anymore these days. Okay, so I ended up doing this mission without actually recording my commentary because I just had to sort of figure it out. And I did a lot of attempts, and this is when I actually figured it out. So, I mean, the first thing I did is I escaped the influence of Polyphemus, and I uh, basically burned along my orbit, and I burned tangentially prograde to expand my orbit out a ways away. And the reason why I did this is so that I could do my plane change out away from Neptune, where it'll be cheaper Delta V-wise. So here I am making burning out of plane to try and match with the uh, inclination of the, of the methane station. So in order to do this, I had to you know, burn out of plane a bit, but then that expands my orbit. Then I had to burn tangential to sort of rein it back in. And it actually worked out pretty nicely. It worked out perfectly, in fact. Uh, I mean, that rate there is pretty close, but later on I'm, I, I'll be doing some more adjustments. And, of course, being mindful not to uh, scratch up the Iroquois Resurgence ships because, they're, you know, they're loners. We can't... we, we got to give them back at the end of the mission. <laughs> So here I am tightening up my orbit, I'm bur you know, burning retrograde pretty much tangentially, so now I'm in a tight orbit around Neptune, but the, the methane station is still quite a ways down there, you know, orbiting at a, a, an extreme velocity. So now I'm just sort of figuring out how the hell, what I should do next, really. Uh, ultimately, I decide to bring in my orbit even more, but I'm out of Delta V. It's a good thing we have this hydrogen tanker there, so I refuel my privateer. Now my privateer is all good to go. Uh, I haven't actually checked the stats of the hydrogen tanker, but I assume the privateer has better acceleration, making uh, intercepts much easier if it's on its own, because it doesn't have to worry about the hydrogen tanker catching up. So I'm going to burn... Uh, Again, tangentially, I, I want to try and bring my orbit as close to the methane depot as possible. And it's looking like that my, uh... Oh, I'm, I'm attempting to do an intercept, but yeah, we're not quite ready yet. We're still moving... Well, the methane station is still moving too fast compared to us, I guess, is what the main issue was. And now I'm sort of... I mean, it looks like my orbit doesn't quite match the inclination of the methane station. So I'm going to make that a bit more perfect. And I'm, I mean, one thing you notice is that the my light blue trajectory, once you, there's like sort of like a darker blue line that you can bring it to match, and now it's basically perfect. 
So at this point, I can tighten up my orbit even more and try and get uh, all valuable intercept with the methane station. Just gotta bring it in. And I'm finding that these intercepts aren't really, aren't quite working. So I just need, I mean, you just need to tinker with the orbit some more until you eventually get it. I mean, you, you know, it's just trial and error, but I mean, if you're sort of in this situation, you're probably going to be able to figure something out eventually. Like, it's not impossible. Alright, so... It looks like I have an option for an intercept here, and then I get this crazy trajectory that's going to result in an intercept on the day side of Neptune. I was surprised this worked. So here I am, that, that big gray cloud is Neptune. It's like, what the hell is that? Why did space turn blue? But it's just a planet. It's a giant, in fact. And so here is the methane station. I'm just going to target that crew module. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. The privateer will I'll orient broadside, of course. I don't need to use my nuclear missiles or anything. I mean, if we use up the nuclear missiles, then we, you know, we got to reload them before we give them back to the Iroquois resurgence. And there goes my cannons and reaching out and touching them. Plink, and mission successful. That's all there is to it. It may take some trial and error to get it perfect, but that's all. That that's it in a nutshell. And I assume there are many more ways of doing this mission. And this is only the tip of the iceberg. Uh, my name is Rudy. Thank you all for watching. Hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing, and I'll see you for the next mission.